did not do that. I don't have the patience or the creativity to do it. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about something. Um, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, you would know yesterday at about 3 a.m., I guess technically today at 3 a.m., I posted something on Facebook. There was a meme that someone posted of me. I saw it a few days ago because someone tagged me in it and I sort of just like let it go. Um, I'll go ahead and insert what the meme was. I noticed throughout the last few days that there were a lot of these memes on Facebook and it wasn't just me, it was a lot of different people. Now the photo used in my meme was one that was taken when I was in high school. I was actually wearing a cheerleading uniform and they covered it up with some shirt that someone photoshopped on me. Um, anyway, I saw it and it just, it sparked a lot of emotion in me. Not so much anger, but more of this is what I've been working for. This is, I now have a platform that I can use my voice with if that makes sense so i posted i'll go ahead and just read you what i posted if you haven't seen it i was up really late i couldn't sleep this was sort of just on my mind and i saw the meme and i decided i was going to screenshot it repost it and just add a little note to people i honestly didn't think that many people would see it it was 3 a.m and i was like eh, whoever sees it sees it i just wanted to get it off my chest so I shared my meme and I said, I've seen a lot of memes like this all over Facebook recently. I'm writing this post not as someone who is a victim, but as someone who is using their voice. Yes, it's very late at night as I type this, but I do so as a reminder that the innocent people that are being put in these memes are probably up just as late scrolling through Facebook and feeling something that I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. No matter what we look like or what size we are, at the end of the day, we are all human. I ask that you keep that in mind the next time you see a viral meme of a random stranger. At the time, you might find it hilarious, but the human in the photo is probably feeling the exact opposite. Spread love, not hurtful words via a screen. So I posted that, and it was honestly me just wanting to share the fact that I clearly know what it's like to be made fun of. I now know what it's like to be put in a meme that goes viral. And it's funny because I think a lot of times we see memes and we think, well, we don't know this person, so we're just gonna, we think it's so funny, so we're gonna like it and we're gonna share it and we're gonna tag people. And without realizing it, that just spreads it so quickly and so fast. And we forget that the person, the person in the photo that is being made fun of is a person. Whether is it, it is an old photo, whether it, whether it is a Photoshop, whatever it may be, it's a human. It's someone who has feelings. It's a mom or a dad or a son or a brother or a teenager or a child. And people are making fun of them because there's a photo that has funny text over it and a lot of people are sharing it. Memes can be funny memes can be cool but the memes that hurt other people aren't cool and they're not funny so all i'm asking is that you stop when you see something like this and you say is there someone going to be on the other side of this who is hurt who is now feeling ashamed yes you have this instant notoriety because you were that person from the meme but is it cool? Is it something you want? Is it something you asked for? Probably not. Probably not. I guarantee probably not. I don't know who created this meme of me, 
I don't know who decided this was going to be a trend, but those are humans who are being made fun of, and it's not fair. If we were going to write statuses that are saying, how dare someone else say this, or how dare they treat someone else like this, and then your next post is a meme, it's kind of the same thing. So all I ask is that you please just think before you share. Think before you type something not so nice. I posted this, like I said, and I'll go ahead and wrap this whole thing up. I posted this at 3 a.m. thinking a few people will see it. It is now like 7 p.m. at night, many hours later, and almost 10,000 of you have shared my post. 10,000. I'm very grateful and I'm very blessed that the 10,000 shares have been positive, but those 10,000 shares could very easily, easily have been negative. So just keep that in mind because we are the ones who make these things happen and let's continue to make them positive versus hurting someone else. But that's it. That's all I wanted to share. I love you guys. You're amazing. Thank you for your support, for your continued support. If you're new to this video, please give it a big thumbs. What? No, 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 no. I said that all wrong. If you're new to this channel, please go click that subscribe button. Don't forget there's been some weird thing where a lot of people are being unsubscribed. So if you are subscribed and you checked, you're not, make sure to resubscribe. If you're new, please join our family. We're very positive. We're very supportive here on this channel, especially in the comments. Um, yeah. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to follow me on any social media when I post things like this, um, my Snapchat is Little Lizzie V, my Twitter is Little Lizzie V, and my Instagram is Little Lizzie V. So yeah, if you want to follow me on there, you can. But I love you. I hope you have a good day or night whenever you watch this. And remember, just be kind to one another. Okay, bye.